Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise today in favor of my amendment number 165 to HR 4365. My amendment prohibits the use of funds to pay regular remote and telework for the civilian and contractor workforce of the Department of Defense. Madam Chair, at the very beginning of this Congress, our majority brought the voice of the American people to this chamber, saying that enough was enough and that it was time for the federal workforce to return to work. To this end, we passed the Show Up Act because our constituents were sick and tired of the lack of service from the federal government. While progress has been made to some extent, there are still legacy and recent telework and remote work agreements that keep federal workers, who are supposed to be delivering for the American people, out of the office. This includes the Department of Defense workforce, which is allowed to work from home in varying capacities. In 2019, the Office of the Director of National Security found that across the entire federal government, 4.2 million employees were eligible to access classified information. The Defense Department is responsible for 3.8 million of these clearances. Of these clearances for employees of the DOD, 20% are civilian workforce and 26% are contractors. The DOD works largely in a classified setting. Its responsibilities are to safeguard this nation. How this mission can be fulfilled when the employees are sitting at home is beyond me. Madam Chair, it is time for the federal workforce, including those who work for the DOD, to return to work so the American people can receive a full and fair return on the services that they fund through their tax dollars. With that, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman from Wyoming reserves. The gentleman from Herps, the gentleman from Hawaii seek recognition. I rise in opposition to the amendment. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm reading the text of this amendment, and it says here, none of the funds appropriated uh, may be used uh, for the purposes of teleworking or remote working for any employee or any contractor of the Department of Defense on a regular and recurring basis. Um, that seems pretty excessive to me. Now, I, I would recognize with my colleague from Wyoming uh, that certainly uh, telework prevent, uh, presents um, um, uh, opportunities in some cases for, for abuse, uh, just as regular work does. Uh, but we're living in a new world. Uh, we're living in a post-COVID world. Uh, there is a place um, in our workforce for uh, regular work, quote unquote, uh, which is not so regular anymore. And there's a place in our world for telework. Um, I can certainly envision legitimate purposes for an, an employee um, or a contractor of the Department of Defense to engage in telework. For example, a particularly valuable contractor uh, who does in fact choose to work at home and that uh, contractor services are desired uh, by the Department of Defense. Why should we limit the Department of Defense uh, in its ability to utilize telework if and as Appropriate. By the way, it may not be. Uh, it may be uh, not only about <clears throat> the efficiency of the work, but it may be more cost productive. It m may be more cost effective for for that work to be engaged from the telework uh, perspective. We have the technology to do that. Um, there are a lot of ways uh, that we can uh, provide for work. Uh, we're obviously um, in a significant uh, recruiting and retention. A challenge for the Department of Defense, and if the Department of Defense wants to engage in telework or offer that as an alternative to satisfy its own needs, um, I see no reason to provide an excessive amendment that essentially rolls out an entire option uh, that is available uh, really to the rest of our uh, society. And for those reasons, uh, I must uh, oppose this amendment and uh, reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Hawaii reserves. The gentlewoman from Wyoming is recognized. I yield 90 seconds of my time to the chairman of the committee. The gentleman from California is recognized. I rise in support of the amendment. Regular telework was a necessity evil, a necessary evil, to sustain DOD operations during the COVID lockdown, but that time is over. Main Street small business went back to work in person years ago, and big business is steadily ending full telework policies. Leaders across the country have found that full-time telework drives more meetings, reduces productivity, and hinders the development of new employees. Further, DOD personnel must also access and work on highly classified national security issues. I urge a uh, yes vote and yield back my time to the gentlelady. 
I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Hawaii is recognized. To my friend and colleague, uh, Mr. Calvert, Main Street Small Business is engaging in telework today. It is finding the opportunities uh, to utilize telework where appropriate. Uh, Main Street government is engaging in telework where appropriate. Uh, I completely agree with the concerns uh, for a telework in a national security environment. Presumably, if one was exercising uh, flexibility um, uh, from, from a responsible perspective, one would not engage in telework, in the, in the, in the, especially in the national security area. But obviously, we have a great part of our federal government that it does not engage in um, national security directly. And uh, why shouldn't the Department of Defense have uh, this particular flexibility? So the, again, the, the, the excessiveness of the amendment and the, the, the no exceptions at all nature of the amendment, I think, um, advise against it. I reserve. The gentlewoman from Wyoming is recognized. Thank you. I, I believe that my colleague on the other side misunderstands the amendment and the scope of it. The amendment does not prevent DOD employees from working from home if needed, such as for health or emergency situations. In fact, the Defense Civilian Personnel Advisory Service is responsible for policy oversight of the DOD telework and remote work programs. These programs are administered in accordance with DOD instruction uh, 1035.01. This amendment specifically prevents only for telework and remote work on a regular or recurring basis. The other categories that accommodate health issues, emergency situations, and more would be left untouched, providing the necessary flexibility. With that, I reserve the balance of my time. The, gen the gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Hawaii is recognized. Well, again, uh, to my colleague, I'm simply reading the language of the amendment. On a regular and recurring basis, there may well be a suitable, suitable reasons why telework would be advisable on a regular and recurring basis, uh, which is not health-related and, and not very specifically narrow, as, as she has pointed out. Um, we've belabored this point uh, long enough, so I will, uh, I'm prepared to close. The, the gentleman and from reserve. Hawaii has the right to close. Yes. The gentlewoman from Wyoming is recognized for one and one half minutes. Uh, this should be a no-brainer that our federal workers and our, uh, our employees should actually go to work. And in fact, it's actually bipartisan. President Biden called on his cabinet members to aggressively execute plans for federal employees to work more in their offices. The president and I do not see eye to eye on very much. In fact, very little. But in this instance, putting workers back in the office is common sense. Uh, this amendment would not defund telework and remote work for servicemen and women. This amendment specifically prevents funds for DOD employees, civilian, and contractors. I urge my colleagues to support my amendment. And with that, I reserve the balance of my time. The, the, the gentlewoman reserves, but the gentleman from Hawaii has the right to close. The gentleman from Hawaii is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Suitable oversight of telework by the DOD is appropriate. It's something that we should engage in. But to foreclose it under all circumstances, I believe, is unwise. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman from Hawaii yields back. The gentlewoman from... One final comment. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. Thank you, Madam Chair. The gentlewoman yields.